What you're looking at is where I work. That's a brand new four million gallon water tank. You're working on a high service pump station. There's the treatment building. And behind it, see that guy waving over there? That's Mike. <laughs> and to the right is what's called a detention tank, kind of like a tower. And that's pretty much it. George once again. Uh, this is where I work during the daytime and at nighttime. I am super teacher. No, no, no. Uh, Peter and I, Peter's my shogun in China. Um, he's the one with the brains. <laughs> I'm the one with the fun. He's the one with the business plan. I'm the one who likes to sing and kid around. Takes both of us. Today's technique we're talking about is, what was it, voice. On one level, as a skill, and I'm your coach, on one level, voice is uh, how we use our voice. You remember how we talked about our body language and using our body to help us learn? And there's also facial expressions, that that should be in agreement. If I'm happy, I should be smiling. If I'm sad, same way with voice. On one level, voice is how we inflect, um, the cadence that we speak in, and then we slow down and speed up. Uh, aspects like that. That's another thing that you should be cognizant of. Uh, don't use too big a words, George. That you should be conscious of, thinking about, as you practice. This empowers your English. Another aspect of this that's kind of the same is finding your voice. Your voice is kind of like your projection into the world. Most of you are young enough, you're still trying to find your voice in the world. What am I going to be? How assertive am I going to be? What kind of personality style am I comfortable with? In language too, you need to find your voice. That's a part of that is confidence. Most of the Chinese speakers and, well, everybody, not just Chinese, um, they already know quite a bit of English but they don't have the confidence. They don't have not built up a familiarity with expressing themselves. So with voice, we need to find many aspects of our personal being, but voice is also an, a very in-depth thing of who we are. You do not need to be like George. You do not need to be like Peter. You don't need to be like anybody. The most important thing for you to figure out is who you are and what voice are you comfortable with? Are you the type of person that is a slow and thoughtful thinker and speaker? Do you have, are you the kind of person that is passionate and wants to get it out there? You all need passion. Without passion, you have one <laughs> lousy life ahead of you. Don't kill that passion. But with voice, we find what we're comfortable with. We find out who we are. And the voice is kind of an abstract, touchy-feely thing about how we want to connect with the world with our voice. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, I think I have one more technique to explain. I'll look it up. Remember, keep your worksheet with you wherever you go because at the bottom of that reminds you of these techniques, okay? We don't go into that very much during classes, but that's an important thing for you to take on and as many as you can and change it up from time to time. It might be a simpler song or narrative. Um, using it in a conversational voice and trying your voice, trying how can I add my personality into the words that are being delivered? Bye-bye, gang.